Hello everyone, I'm Dan Philgreen and this is Shell Point Today for Thursday, August 8th. On today's show, Mark Tesoro offers some tips on avoiding the biggest cause of injury and death among seniors, and that's by preventing falls. We'll also learn why Jared was dressed up like a farmer, stealing produce from the island gardens and selling it on the street. Now, don't worry, we swear there's a logical explanation for all of it. But first, we have a unique event this morning that will help you create your perfect image. When you get dressed in the morning, you may not realize the impact that wearing certain colors has on your mood and your interaction with others throughout the day. Christine Sherlock is a professional image consultant with a firm called Image Matters, and she can help you pick the colors that are right for you, enabling you to feel great and get the most accomplished every day. She'll be visiting Shell Point this morning at 10.15 a.m. in the Social Center on the island. Sign up for this event by calling the Island Service Desk at 454-2282 or the Woodland Service Desk at 454-2054. And then tomorrow, the big event happens at the Church Auditorium as we conclude our summer concert series with a bang, or should I say a buzz. We're welcoming a barbershop quartet unlike any you've heard before. It's a female barbershop quartet called The Buzz. These talented ladies sing the same barbershop favorites as the guys, but they bring their own distinctive sound to the performance. These four ladies are all members of the Sweet Adelines and all have accomplished vocal careers on their own. And performing together as Buzz, they have recorded numerous CDs and have given award-winning performances worldwide. Come hear what The Buzz is about as they perform at Shell Point tomorrow night at 7.30 p.m. in the Church Auditorium. Tickets are just $15 and can be purchased at either service desk. We also want to make sure your calendar is marked for a Health Connection event featuring Mark Tesoro from Lee Memorial Health System. He has an ongoing campaign to prevent falls among seniors, which is the one leading cause of hospitalizations and death among older Americans. Some people think a fall is just inevitable as you age, but Mark has other ideas. Through exercise programs, proper medication and nutrition, and even the right footwear, you can take steps to avoid being the victim of a fall. Find out how at a Health Connection class next Friday, August 16th at 10.15 a.m. in the Social Center on the Island. Mary Franklin has this preview. I'm Mary Franklin here today to talk about an upcoming Health Connection program. This one will be held on Friday, August 16th at 10.15 a.m. in the Social Center entitled Injury and Falls Prevention, a very important topic with a very important speaker. And the speaker is Mark Tesoro. Thank you for being here today, Thank Mark. Thank you for having me. It's a pleasure being here. Tell me a little bit about your role at Lee Memorial. I work for the Lee Memorial Trauma Center. My title is um, analyst slash educator. And for those of you who may not know where Lee Memorial is, it's not actually, actually the trauma center is not at the health park, but it's downtown Fort Myers. Mm -hmm. And as an analyst educator, my role actually is to take a look at all of the emergency rooms in a, probably a five county area and see what's bringing people in. And falls is one of the things that are a major contributor to right. the people that we see in the trauma center. Okay. Now, Mark, you and the Step Wisely program have ties to Shell Point. Can you further explain? Sure. Um, I used to work at uh, Larson Pavilion, and at that time, we started the program, the Lee um, County Injury Prevention Program, along with Shell Point and along with a number of different agencies, actually had a number of symposiums to develop this program. Mm -hmm. And one of the first symposiums was actually over in um, the Woodlands. Mm -hmm. So currently, it is the State <laughs> Falls Prevention Program, Baby Boomer Program, okay. as well as the um, uh, National Council on Aging's um, Hall of Fame Program. Mm -hmm. So it's really a, done a uh, it's gone from being a Shell Point, um, originating in Shell Point, going to a national level. So we're very, very proud of it. And I'm very, very proud of uh, the program in general because it talks about more than just strength and balance, mm -hmm. which is a false issue, but all of the factors that cause faults, um, home environment, footwear, lighting, uh, medication side effects. So um, at this talk, we're going to talk about all the factors that could cause falls as opposed to just strength and balance issues, which of course are important, but there's much more involved than just strength and balance. And this program is good for anyone. Everyone can learn from this program, and it's great to, you'll kind of give them some 
pointers Absolutely. to go home and they can look at their, their home in a new light. Absolutely. It's one of those things where I think um, preventatively uh, it's almost more important than, if, if you look at the statistics, um, one out of three seniors fall every year. 20% mm -hmm. of those people who do fall every year fall so badly they're hospitalized. Mm -hmm. And half of those hospitalized actually pass away because of um, infections or another fall or something along those lines. Mm -hmm. So we're trying to act pro, you know, proactively and making sure that we address these things. So um, our major issue, really, our point is, is that um, falls are not a normal part of aging. Right. You so you should not be told you're 80 years old, you're going to fall. Mm -hmm. There's something causing that, and we're going to try to go over the things that um, kind of predispose you to having falls. Right. Education is the key to Absolutely. this. You are really Absolutely. seeing that, Absolutely. improving that. Absolutely. Okay. Well, I know that you are passionate about the Step Wisely program. Not only do you and I know each other, we're also on the Lee County Injury Prevention Coalition together, yes. and I see your passion for this program come through in many ways, and I know our residents will really benefit from attending this class. I'm looking forward to talking to everybody. It's such an important topic and really um, the, the, the theme for the topic is um, saving lives through fault prevention and, and it sounds maybe melodramatic but it quite frankly is, is really accurate. And it gets down to the everyday yeah. issues yeah. that we are all facing. Absolutely. If you ask your residents, I bet you one of the major things they're concerned about are falls. Mm -hmm. So we're trying to address that. Okay. Mark, thanks for coming out here today and I want you to sign up for this program at either service desk. Just once again, it is on Friday, August 16th at 10.15 a.m. in the Social Center. Come and hear what Mark has to say because you are going to really walk away with some great information for injury and falls prevention. I'm Mary Franklin along with Mark. Have a happy and healthy day. Okay, so why was Jared stealing produce from the Island Gardens? And why is he now stealing a boat while dressed like a cat burglar? It's part of a competition he took part in last week called the 48-Hour Film Project. Filmmakers gather in Tampa and receive a random movie genre, as well as a character, a prop, and a line of dialogue. They then have 48 hours to write a completely original short film, shoot it, edit it, and deliver it back to Tampa in less than 48 hours, folks. Last weekend, Jared pulled the genre of crime movie. But also that main character had to be a farmer. The film had to include bubble wrap as a prop, as well as the line of dialogue, he never tells me anything. So see if you can spot all these elements in this original short film called Five Questions.
some trouble? That boat can be a little difficult. Try turning the key and holding it on. Turn it on. Yay! Come on in! Hi! You know, my husband said he was going to call the repairman, but of course he never tells me anything. We're taking it down down the intercoastal because it's our anniversary coming up, so thanks for fixing it. Hey, are you hungry? I just baked some cookies. Come on inside. Only from the mind of Jared, right? So he not only filmed it and appeared in it, but he also created the fake website and performed all the background music, all in less than 48 hours. And for what it's worth, Jared didn't actually steal any produce from the Shell Point Gardeners. It was all just pretend. So a big thank you to the passers-by on Saturday morning who pretended to buy tomatoes from him in the Island Gardens, and also a big thank you to the Island Security for not arresting him. By the way, if you're interested in buying legitimate, non-criminal produce, then make plans to visit the Island Marketplace tomorrow morning. Every Friday morning, C&J Produce bring a variety of fresh fruits and vegetables to the administration courtyard, as well as many other handmade goodies. The Shell Point Marketplace happens tomorrow morning from 8.30 to 11.30 a.m. in the Island's administration courtyard. Now, let's discover what we can look forward to in today's happenings lineup as well as today's menus and church news. Welcome to the happening segment of Shell Point TV. Today is Thursday, August 8th. I'm Suzanne Zavada, and I'm here with Bev Chanley to go over everything happening at Shell Point today. We'll start the day off at 7.15 with the Health Connections, Bend, Breathe, and Balance in the Health Club on the Island. At 8 o'clock, the Men's Golf Association will be out at the Shell Point Golf Club. And also at 8, we have the Round Robin Men's Doubles Tennis Group out at the tennis courts at the Woodlands. At 8.30, the Paddlers Club will be at the kayak storage on the island. And at 9.15, we have shuffleboard out at the shuffleboard courts on the island. 9.30, the current event group will be meeting in the game room at the Woodlands. And also at 9.30, we have the ladies match play tennis group meeting out at the courts at the Woodlands. At 9.45, we have introduction to beginning line dancing at the health club on the island. And at 10 o'clock, we have a Suzy Q trip to Grandma Dots for lunch. Sign up is required by calling the greeter's desk at the island, and it's $5 per passenger. At 10.15, we have basic line dancing at the health club on the island. And also at 10.15, we have a program, Look Good and Feel Great with Color, in the social center on the island. At 11.15, we have advanced line dancing on the island. And that wraps up our morning. Now let's go to bed for the afternoon.
Thank you, Suzanne. We're going to start our afternoon lineup at 1 o'clock with the Pavilion Auxiliary Orientation. That will be in the hospitality room of the Village Church. The sign-up is required for that meeting. And then we move to 115, where Mahjong will be played in the library lounge on the island. 2.45 is the time for Health Connections class, Balance and Mobility Training Level 2. That will be in the health club, and currently that is full. At 4 o'clock, it's time for the seamstress to be here for her weekly service. She'll be in the Osprey Room on the island. At 4.30, the Alcoholics Anonymous meeting will be in the Sable Room of the Woodlands. Then we have a trip leaving at 6 o'clock. It's time for the Cirque du Soleil Qui Dame show. Island court pickups begin at 6 o'clock. The Woodland court pickups begin at 6.10 and 6.20 for Eagles Preserve. Sign up is required. And at 7 o'clock, we have Pinnacle. That'll be played in the library lounge on the island. And our final activity is the Trailblazers Bible study group in the game room of the Woodlands. And that, too, is at 7 o'clock. Thank you for joining us today, and we'll see you back here tomorrow. Menus for Thursday. In the crystal room, the crystal platter is orange-flavored chicken over jasmine rice and vegetables. For dinner, it's the crystal carving board for ten ninety-five, and the soup of the day is navy bean. In the island cafe for lunch, there's a roast beef panini with peppers, onions, and fries for six ninety-five. The dinner special is Thai night for seven ninety-five. Dinner specials in the Palm Grill on Thursday are spaghetti and meatballs for $11.95 or grilled pork chops for $14.95. All menus are available 24 hours a day at www.shellpoint.net. Bells are instruments that throughout history have been used to gather people for worship as well as help them celebrate in times of great joy and grieve in times of great sorrow. English handbells invented in the late 1600s, are finely crafted, pitched instruments of great beauty in the hands of skillful composers and performers, express a wide range of emotions that bring joy and comfort to the heart. Today, we will watch and listen to Youth Handbell Ensemble from the Pompano Beach New Presbyterian Church as they perform Marty Nystrom's contemporary song, As the Deer. Few people have had to go without water for several days. Psalm 42 uses the example of a deer in the midst of a drought to suggest human craving for the refreshment of God's presence. As water is the most basic necessity for survival, so life with God is the basic need of human beings. Existence without God is like the desert, parched and barren. It is only God's grace expressed in a sense of his presence which can satisfy the thirst of the human soul. The song says, As the deer panteth for the water, so my soul longeth after thee. You alone are my heart's desire, and I long to worship thee.
We're glad you joined us for today's show. Tune in again tomorrow as we show you why the Crystal Room is worth one last visit before they go on hiatus for the rest of the month. Until then, this is Shell Point Today for Thursday, August 8th. I'm Dan Philgreen, and from all of us here at Shell Point TV, we hope you have a great day, and we'll see you again tomorrow.